Hi, I'm Jason England for Cosmos Magazine. Magicians have been using scientific principles to fool their audiences for centuries. Jean-Eugène Robert Houdin, the father of modern magic, once even used the emerging technology of electromagnetism to stop a war in Algeria. I can't show you how to stop a war, but I can show you a pretty cool demonstration that is known as Lenz's Law. This is what you need. You need a approximately meter long piece of copper tubing. You need a steel ball bearing that fits easily into the tube. And you also need a magnetic ball bearing the same size as the steel ball bearing. This happens to be a rare earth neodymium magnet and it's very strong. First, let's take a look at what happens when you drop a regular steel ball bearing through the tube. As we would expect, it falls out the bottom in about half a second. Now, let's watch what happens when you drop the magnetic ball bearing through the tube. I have plenty of time to put my hand at the bottom of the tube and catch the magnet as it falls out the bottom. Why does this work? Well, even though copper is not generally considered to be magnetic in the normal sense, any time a magnet moves through copper, it generates an electric field. And any time an electric field moves through copper, it generates a magnetic field. So the first magnetic field in this magnet creates an electric field, and as that electric field moves, it creates another magnetic field that resists or opposes the first one. This is known as Lenz's Law, and it was first discovered well over a hundred years ago. The interesting thing to me is that this works with several different substances. Instead of using a copper tube, you could use an aluminum tube, and although the result isn't quite as strong because aluminum's not as good of a conductor as copper is, there is still an effect. Unfortunately, my magnet is too big to fit through the aluminum tube, but I have a smaller magnet, and I can show you that the effect is still there, even though it's not quite as pronounced. Here we go with a smaller magnet, and I've got to move a lot quicker to catch it before it falls out the bottom, but the effect is still there. I promise you I couldn't move that fast and catch it without putting it inside the aluminum tube. I'm now going to show you a top-down view of the magnet falling through the copper tube, and I want to thank you for watching.